Hello again. Something came in. Package is sealed, like you can see. Let's open it. Bam. And bam. And bam. What's inside? Some phone. Ooh, this is so nothing more in the in the box. Let's see this in close up. This kill did the air fall. Remember correctly display a brilliant rainbow light effect by default. Customer licensing control software will be available in February 2017. So there's no software right now. We have to wait to February. 2017 Okay Design Award 2016 It's pretty heavy box That's exact uh, model number Yep Seal is right there That's very important and right here So Let's open it on the top. So, cut the seal. And there we have it. Nothing more on the box. Two stacks of. Why this is so dirty? Two stacks of uh, memory RAM, G skill, some kind of stickers. Okay. Let's open one. Oh, G skill sticker, which is look like this. Go beyond limits. sticker and there's the RAM. I don't know why it's dirty here. Just dust or whatever this is. Anyway, it's super cold so I have to wait to be, be before I in, install them. Uh, yeah, extremely cold. So I need to wait about, I don't know, half an hour. Yeah, you can see there's some yeah water here okay so that's the exact model number right there so that's how they look like in super close up in 4k You see the water from my hands. And that's the light lightning part, RGB part. Okay, let's see the dimensions of those. One second. I have the scale right there. Let's put it in oh Something wrong with the battery. Come on. That's the zero. So. Zero. Okay. So right here is a. Oh shit. It's broken. One second. Let's try it again. Mm, God damn it. It is broken. broken okay let's use a different one so I have to use a simple measure tape it's of course it's down on 13 and a half and most important is the height so the height in here is uh, 
four and a half centimeters right there and you can see and in here is four and from here to here is uh, 12 and a half so those are the measurements it's pretty heavy let's weigh this so one piece of memory is 69 grams pretty heavy yes exactly 68 grams or 69 whatever okay so now what I need to do is wait about one hour before I install them because they're super cold and I don't want to damage anything okay see you in, a, in a one hour well I'm too hyped to wait one hour so I will use the hair dryer to cool them to make them warm now one more thing uh, this part where the sticker is is a gray one like you can see it's gray and this side is black so two, two different colors okay let's try to install them so that's my old stacks of RAM uh, Reap Joe's 5 the new one is uh, I think a little higher that isn't going to fit where when the cooler is in this position this is not to a 15 well it won't be easy uh, it's going like this yeah is it going to fit right there Nope, no, no way, it won't go, well, nope, nope, it won't fit, so because of uh, this half, half centimeter right there, it's blocking, so what I need to do right now is change the direction of this uh, cooler so I have to unscrew it pretty bad okay let's do it okay so let's take the cooler off some cables on the way there's the thermal paste oh no dust god damn it So let's remove the dust. That's the thermal paste. This is a greasy crane out or whatever you want to call it. It's the one of the best thermal paste you can you can buy today. I applied it about one year ago. Let's see is it still good well it is a little dry it's definitely not super yes it is dry so well not too good 
so one year with this uh, clean out uh, thermal grace and it's a little dry not super dry but uh, a bit dry yeah okay Okay, let's see the CPU. That's the Skylake C CPU 6, 670 or 6700K. Uh, I heard somewhere that you bend when you apply a lot of pressure. And I apply a lot of pressure when I install this Noctua uh, sink. And let's see, is, it, is this uh, bent or not? Lots of dust. Have to clean this up. Let's take the CPU off. Have to concentrate. Don't damage anything. It's very delicate. Like you can see, nothing is bent. So I think that's a big BS, the Skylark band. Straight, super straight. Remember to don't touch the... <sighs> Apply the new thermal paste. So let's try to take this off. Let's see how... dry this is so you can see it is dry yeah it's dry out so one year and uh, and the uh, thermal knockout or whatever you want to call it grizzly is dry I use this to clean the processor and the uh, heatsink it's very very effective it's designed for screen clean AF company it's super effective recommend this so look how clean this is there are some scra scratches on scra scratches on the surface but i cannot remove them those are the scratch from god knows what you see those scratches right there i cannot remove them so i won't do anything with it but it's super clean right now once once again recommend this product okay let's apply thermal paste and, and place the heatsink so i always apply it like this that's my technique i don't care if it's good or bad don't really care it's working for me i have very good temperatures big blob in the middle <laughs> but it's work for me and that's is all I that is that is all about yeah to work okay let's place the heatsink you can see this heatsink has a ah, one second let's zoom out this heatsink has a cutout right there for the memory yeah. And now like you can see there's a 
plenty of space right there to install the RAM. So there's something in the socket. Wait, 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 wait a second. Something's in the socket. Okay, socket is clean. So let's install this baby. How do I install this? In this position? Something is. Like this, and like this. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, it's plenty of space right now to, to do this. I think there's some cables on the way. Hmm, some cables are on the way. So first one is installed. You can hear there's something is buzzing in them. Don't know what it is. So they install right now. Looks like this. Pretty cool. Let's zoom out. Okay. Fire the PC. Maybe I show this a little closer with high resolution. Looks pretty nice. Okay. So let's start this baby. Fire. Oh wow, pretty dense light, intense, I don't know if the camera can, so CPU fan speed error de de detected, I, I didn't install any fan and CPU, uh, let's press F1. Temperature is, is a 26, very very good temperature, with no fan. I think it's too bright for the camera. I don't know if I'm able to. Adjust the brightness. Well, when I adjust the brightness, the focus is off. God damn it. Maybe right now you can see the RGB colors, yeah. I tweak the camera a little bit. So, there you have it. RGB wrangle. There's no software available right now, so we have to wait for the software. Very intense light, and I love it. <laughs> it's super cool. Yeah. And the temperature is 28 and it's 27. You, you see, it's holding 29, 28. It's holding with no fan. Not bad at all. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, 
and I will make the another video of those uh, RGB light when the software came in. Okay. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.